today is the 30th of December and right about now got some exciting things happen happening sorry for Bobble Network okay Bobble has been holding this level going sideways and it's starting to make its way up again at the moment currently back at ICO price around three dollars possibly to do with the fact that we are going to be listing on Hotbit in just well less than 24 hours now it will be 6 a.m. UTC on the 31st of December which is tomorrow morning early in the morning for me all right because um, I am based in the UK so that is at 6 a.m. my time all right guys and yeah you can go and check out Hotbit on Twitter and they have announced that join their telegram as well we should soon be hosting an AMA in the Hotbit Twitter uh, soon I believe it's going to be around the 4th or the 5th of January we haven't confirmed it yet but we will keep you updated right here on the channel and in the telegram group for bubble network go and join us in the bubble network telegram group to get all the juicy details and gossip on anything new that's coming all right guys don't miss out get in there and get the news first all right because these are the people that are riding this upward movement at the moment okay and by the time this gets on hotbit we hope that you know a lot of volume will come into it um, Hotbit having you know billions of dollars worth of volume coming through their exchange 1.5 million users globally at the moment and obviously that's growing as each day goes by especially with Bitcoin hitting new highs and all that sort of stuff all right guys also go and check us out on the website bubble network all right guys make sure you get the correct contract address if you are buying it on Uniswap that's something you don't need to worry about if you are buying it on Hotbit one thing I will remind you is that if you do decide to send bubble tokens from your uh, your your private wallet all right like metamask trust wallet or whatever if you send that to hotbit remember there is a five percent burn ratio so i'm encouraging people to buy on hotbit rather than send their existing tokens there because it's unnecessary for you to lose five percent on that okay if you're only going to sell it eventually you might as well hold it in your in your in your private wallet all right guys and when you get when it comes down to selling it later on if you are holding it for long term at least you wouldn't have lost that five percent by transferring them over to hotbit you can buy them on hotbit all right so get over and use that exchange it's a centralized exchange of course and it is only a usdt pair on hotbit so i believe that will bring a lot more buyers into the market especially those that don't want to be holding using ethereum or bitcoin they can just you know use their stable coins to get into that usd tether all right guys remember also as well let's not forget that you can actually farm bubble tokens to earn bbv tokens that's the b valve the bubble valve b valve dot finance being a website but as you can see you can just go to the actual bubble network website and click on that now the apy for farming has gone down because as the price for B valve goes down, the APY goes down. So the higher the price is um, on B valve, the higher the APY will be on here. So it's like a double whammy in rewards. Uh, however, if you would like to buy B valve tokens on their own, that will be BBV. You can actually stake those also for one percent a day and earn your rewards on there, and you can claim your, uh, your rewards daily on that. Right. All right, guys. Lovely. All right. So we're hoping for some more upward movement on bubble network remember it's not been that long and we are moving quite nicely okay if we go back to the actual bubble uh, website okay let's just go back to the bubble network or bubble token dot network will be the website let's just go back to the website and have a look at the roadmap um, which is over here now we have actually fulfilled everything that we said was going to happen on here some things did fall through like the partnership for example all right guys we did ha have a few things lined up um you know if you guys know the story you know that some of that didn't go too well however the farming and the staking is actually launched we haven't actually got staking on there for some reason but farming is definitely going as you can see the staking is working quite well as well as you saw from the bvalve website we're still talking about launching nfts all right so that is something that we're working on for january February was meant to be the list of more exchanges, but as you can see, we are already on Hotbit, uh, or we, at least we will be from around 8 a.m. when the trading open. Well, um, as you can see, you can um, deposit your tokens from 6 a.m. if you'd like to do that, uh, regardless of the 5% burn ratio. 
uh, March 2021, we're looking at more development, potentially um, more staking, more, more, you know, innovative designs to keep this ecosystem going. All right, guys. So we uh, uh, we do look like we are about to start putting in a little bit of a reversal here on BBL. Uh, we've got a bottom over here, we've got a bottom over there. Okay, so that could be our double bottom that we're looking for and potentially some more movement to the upside. Okay, one thing I'd quickly like to cover is just this. This interested me, so I thought I'd put this out to my group. All right, guys, and as you can see, Coinbase, uh, Coinbase, sorry, Coinbase blog is talking about digital assets that they will list in Q1 2020. I believe Jarvis has already been listed. As we can see, um, they did put something out that I saw before, but I think Jarvis is already on there. However, we're looking at VeChain, all right? So that will definitely be something for the VeChain fans to look forward to. And, you know, who knows whether this will move the price now or whether it will move later when it actually get onto Coinbase. And that will be Coinbase Custody, for example. We, hopefully, we'll get onto Coinbase, uh, General Coinbase, the General Coinbase Exchange. And we've also got YFII, that's um, uh, um, Finance YFII. We've got Jarvis, uh, which we talked about already. Play, I don't really know this one, but I think I may have heard of, uh, what's this, at HeroCoin.io, the decentralized community-based solution to online betting. Okay, Play, whatever that is, and Dot, Polkadot. Now, I actually missed out, I was going to buy Polkadot just uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, we saw a large spike in volume on Polkadot. We saw the price go back up to its previous high, around just under $6.00. I believe so, if I remember correctly. And now it is starting to move further to the upside. Um, as, at least it was last I checked. It may have had a pullback. But this is not a polka dot video. But I just wanted to point this out to you that Coinbase, Coinbase blog has uh, put this out there. All right, guys. So that could be bullish for these five coins right here. Um, Coinbase, um, general Coinbase exchange next. All right, guys. And before we end the video, I want to point this out. that It is actually the final day in fact the final five hours and 57 minutes of the pre-sale for wise token as you can see we're on the final day and this is what you call fomo a lot of people buying in a lot of people buying in this is actually the highest numbers there had been that's something that i did anticipate earlier on i did believe that a lot of people were going to be waiting to the last couple of days to jump in still i think a lot of people are going to be waiting to buy uh, to buy on uniswap when it actually lists and goes live which will be probably within the first 15 minutes of um, of the, the claiming day uh, before that goes live at about 12 a.m. UTC tonight. Um, you'll have to figure out what time that is in your time zone. There will be a live stream by the founder at 11, uh, 11 p.m. UTC. That's my time. All right, guys, and I will be tuning into that. And me and my friend, we are waiting for that so we can uh, all watch this thing go live together. All right, guys, exciting times. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, if, if, if you missed out on Wise uh, uh, in the pre-sale in the earlier days, all right, getting it cheap over here, um, there's definitely a chance for you to get in if you manage to get in quick enough when it actually goes live on uh, uh, Uniswap tonight all right guys i will leave my link in the description but what i am recommending is that you use that to actually stake at this point because with so much in here at the moment okay the average price that you're going to be getting it here is about 30 to 40 cents all right guys if you wait for it to go on uniswap it is actually going to list around 15 cents all right guys so this is fomo and 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 you know a lot of people would prefer still to, to jump in on this day uh, because there may be a low chance of you getting in if you really don't know what you're doing. All right, guys, some people are happy just to have some exposure to WISE and buy a, a slightly expensive price because they know or they feel in their heart of hearts that this is going to go up. Uh, that's why I've got so much money invested into this myself because I really believe in the tokenomics of this. I really believe that, um, well, I've seen it before, well, before my own eyes. I've seen the amount of liquidity that's gone into this. I mean, let's find out exactly how much Ethereum they've got now in the contract. I believe it was about 57,000 last time I checked. Yeah, 57,385. So that's gone up by about 200 Ethereum since I last checked. And if we check wiseinfo.io, we will see just um, how much um, we're expected to see go in on Uniswap for liquidity tonight. 
um, which is around 78 million last time I checked, which was just earlier today. Um, so that shouldn't have changed too much, um, considering only another 200 uh, plus Ethereum has gone into the contract. Sorry about the wait, it's taking a little bit of time to load up, but uh, we should be there in just a few seconds. And like I said, I will leave my link in the description for that because if you use my referral link, uh, because I'm a CM referrer, if you use my referral link, right, and you stake uh, uh, Wise, right, you're going to get 10% extra shares. If you don't know how it works, go and check it out. All right, guys. Now, this is taking ages, so we'll probably skip this part, but it was about 78 million going in tonight. Maybe this is being refreshed because... They're actually, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But okay, here we are. Okay, it's actually gone up by another million. 79 million, 699,637 USD. Okay, so that's just under 80 million at the moment. That's crazy, guys. I mean, from the launch, 80 million. Um, coming in at number seven above Uniswap in the top 10, top seven, sorry, with the stable coins. All right. And as we can see, the estimated launch price is currently at 15 cents. All right, guys, that's why I don't think it makes sense to buy it right now on that reserve day, especially with the high number that's already gone in. All right, guys. Um, however, there is a little bit of a risk waiting to jump in when it gets onto Uniswap because a lot of people are going to be waiting to jump in when it gets on Uniswap. That's one of the other reasons why I'm confident that I think that this is going to pump straight out the gate. I don't know how high it's going to go or, you know, I could be completely wrong and it could just dump straight out the gate. But I really can't see it dumping for the simple fact that most people have paid the average price at 15 cents and it's actually going to launch at 15 cents. So if you're investing in a pre-sale, you're not selling to break even or selling to make a loss if you get if for those that are getting in at 40 cents you're selling to make a profit all right so most people that are actually investing in wise i believe are mature investors and they're going to be holding their their wise all right guys i actually plan to if it pumps crazy you know i'm not silly right if it pumps crazy i actually plan to take some profit at least right and leave some in and me, that's my strategy uh, because, you know, I, I you know, I want to be able to buy some more on the dip as well, right? So, um, you know, I've put a lot into this myself and, you know, I've actually earned a lot more than what I put in, if I'm being honest, um, by referrals, okay? So, that being said, also, it makes a lot of sense for me to take some profit, make sure that I take some of the risk off the table for myself, although I believe the risk to reward ratio on this is quite high. I expect to make a huge profit, at least when I stake it for one year, which I will, uh, I do intend to be staking for at least 365 days, right? To get those shares in, all right? And um, yeah, I think that, you know, it, it, it really won't cost me anything to do that, considering I've earned a lot of whys for free. Well, not for free, because, you know, <sighs> You know, these videos, you know, it's, it's my, you know, blood, sweat and tears goes into this stuff sometimes. All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, definitely go and check that out. All right, guys, going back to the Wise website, like I said, I will leave, I will leave my link in the description for you. All right. Uh, that will be the link right there. I'll leave my link in the, uh, in, in, in the description for you. All right, guys, there's definitely huge benefits in staking for this. If you're not sure what it's all about, go and check out Wise underscore staking or wise staking sorry wise underscore staking on twitter wise staking on youtube check out the videos all right guys there should be some live streams still from uh, from the other day and um, there'll be a live stream tonight at 11 p.m and everyone should be tuned into that i do expect it to be a little bit more packed out than what it normally is as well i don't always get it on time sometimes i ended up watching i end up watching it after because i'm so busy but it is late at night as well for me as well so when i begin to wind down what i do is i'll find the live the live stream i'll watch that and see what's been going on in there all right guys but that's about it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment below that my words are all over the place tonight but guys yeah don't forget bubble network listing on hot bits tomorrow